In this video, we'll take a look at some of the options that are available when touring around the model in immersive mode. So first things first, we'll get into immersive mode here by using the jump to immersive doohickey from the summon menu. And we'll plop that down right in front of the Dance Center sample model. Here you can see we're in immersive mode now with the model being rendered at full one-to-one -one scale. And if I bring my hand out, you can see the SketchUp Viewer app automatically puts us into the Jump Tool so that we can start hopping around right away. You'll see that too if you look over in the Tools panel, which opens automatically. Here we're in the Jump Tool where we have the option to adjust the eye height by tapping the up or down arrows. We'll go ahead and jump into the building where we can also see the option for using the elevator tool from the tools panel. Elevator tool is a handy way to navigate through multi-story projects. We can elevator up to go up a level or elevator down to go down a level. Other options available from the tools panel while in immersive mode also include things like scenes. Any of the immersive scenes that you have saved in SketchUp that do have the camera property checked are great for navigating around in the model using the SketchUp Viewer for HoloLens app. Here you can see we've traveled to the reception area on the first floor. Entity Info, another great option in immersive mode where with Entity Info you can simply point the cursor at any of the objects in the model and the Entity Info panel will pop up in front of you to offer information about that object that you've selected. So I can tap the sofa and get information about that. Tags and Outliner are also available in Immersive Mode. Handy for things like being able to turn off certain objects in the model. We can turn the furniture off here in this room or turn the furniture back on. And from the Tools panel, we also have the option to return to Tabletop mode. That option is also available from the Scenes panel, where we've got a special scene that the SketchUp Viewer app creates titled Return to Tabletop. And of course, you've also got that option available from the Summon menu as well. When you return to Tabletop mode, you'll see that any of the tags that were saved to the most recent scene are the tags that are still going to be set to be visible or not visible. So from there you can either come back to the Tags panel and turn back on whatever tags you want to have on, or if you have a scene that you've created, like the one we've got here titled Site Context, that can be another handy way to simply bring all your tags back to where they're visible.